guys, so I'm back again with another video and I have a few finished objects on this very, very cold day. So, let's start with that then. I'll start with what I'm wearing because I am in love with this. This is the second day that I'm wearing it because yes, I am that much of a scruff, but I just love it. So, kind of a croppish kind of oversized top. And I added front post, back post, sleeves to it. It's so comfortable and warm. And the rest of the wool I've put away in my storage room. So, I can't tell you right now what it's made out of. Um, but I think it's majority acrylic. It might be acrylic wool mix. It's wool that Jan gave me. So it's like got beige and grey inside. But yeah, it's so super duper warm and I am in love with it. So what else I finished? I finished um, the green and mustard jacket and I'm going to post the picture, let me see, there. Did it happen? <laughs> this is going to be the first time that I've been able to post the picture so it if it works, I'm going to be so happy. If it doesn't, I'm just going to look like I've got mud all over my face. Alright, and then I've done the gloves to go with it. And, yeah, right, so that's done. And then with a bit of the yarn that was left over, I did um, an ear warmer for my blog. So, if you're not connected to mine and Jan's blog, then the link is going to be down below. We do post, um, where's my teeth today? I can't speak. We do post like shop updates and things like that, but also um, any free patterns, we're going to just enter into the blog. So this is a V-stitch double-sided ear warmer pattern. Just using scrap yarn, I think it used up 36 grams of yarn altogether. And I do put how much for the border, how much for the grey part, how much for the inside part. So you can pick and choose, you know, your yarn for each part accordingly. So super comfy, so super thick. I made the kids one, and instead of wearing it as an ear warmer, they wear it as a cow. <laughs> But, you know, they're only young, so it fits as a cowl as well for the youngsters. So, yeah, there is that as well. So, check out that blog post. Now, for the projects that I've been working on, because I've been working on mainly um, patterns, like trying to write up my own designs, and I have, I've been putting them all into, like, cheap plastic carrier bags that you get for 5D at the shop. And then I was getting so annoyed at myself, like, why am I doing that? I've spent so much money on proper project bags. But they're all in the storage room with old projects in them, like, why? It's, it's a waste of money to just have them sat there. But I don't want to put an old project into a cheap carrier bag because and just have it sat there either. Like, you know, I want to get them out. So, once a week, I want to get out an old project and if not finish it, at least work on it then I can clear these bags out and start using them. So this is the project that I got out and I finished. So I can't remember who it's by. <laughs> I don't even remember if I've got the pattern on my phone, I couldn't find it. But it's mandarin sweater. Because I do remember that um, the border, the edging had pico, I think. But because I couldn't find the pattern, I just did normal single crochet. So there's this mandarin and the t-shirt top. So then that is another project finished. <sighs> a nice summer project in cotton but it cleared out a bag for me so I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. A bit of fluff on my face then. So that's all um, 
my finished objects, finished project. So now, let me see what I've been working on. So, I'm working on um, my pattern on the Balfour socks. I finished one of the socks a long, long time ago, like last year, maybe the year before, a long, long time ago. So now I'm finally doing the second one. I've only got the toe to do. But I have a problem. See how small and neat that looks? My other one, because it's been on my foot mannequin for like a year or two since it's been done, it's stretched, like proper stretched. So now I feel like when I wear them, one's going to be so big and one's going to be small. So I'm hoping it washes and then comes out smaller. Um, so I think, yeah, that's where I was up to when I last showed you. So I've done all that. Just need to do the toe and then I can wear them. Because the weather is so cold, I've just been wearing my socks. I've been wearing normal socks that you buy from the shop. And then my socks on top. And then my feet are still cold. It's freezing. Right, what else? What else? What else? What else? So I've not done anything else on um, my golden mustard jacket. That's just still in there. Ah, right. The yarn for this. I've just found my last ball. So it's natural cotton fine in ice yarns. 3mm hook. Um, 50 grams, but I did that in a 2.5mm. Um, 50 grams, 150 metres, 100% cotton. Did I say ice yarns? It's ice yarns. Right, the sock wool. I don't remember what it was, it was so long ago that I lost the ball band. But I think I bought it from um, Woolfest. So, if you really, really, really want to know what the wool is, look back at my Woolfest video and then you'll see it because the haul will be on there. But <laughs> you've got to really, really, really want to know to go back <laughs> and watch that video. Right, so now um, a friend asked me to make him a hat. So I'm making my hat. And this is using Wendy Pick style. This yarn is, oh, I love it so much. I really do, but it's quite expensive. It's like four pounds something a ball. Um, but I really want to make a top in the purple and they've got like a burgundy maroon colour as well. I even have a yellow and I even want something from the yellow, like, it's so soft and nice. So this is, um, 100 grams, I think it's 100% acrylic, yeah, 100% acrylic, 225 metres, 246 yards, and it's a DK weight, well, Wendy Pixel DK. So the pattern for this, I'm doing Hohi Locatelli's, um, Cozy head, happy head hat. And I thought I had the pattern here. So, ah, here we are. So that's the pattern. I'm not putting the pom pom on it because it's for a guy. And he's a man's man, he's like, no, we're in a pom pom. Don't give me a pom-pom! So, I won't give him a pom-pom. Let's see if there's another... Black picture. And then... So, I've made this pattern quite a few times before. And it's a good pattern, it comes out really nice. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing with that one. And now I've got one more project I'm going to show you. I've only worked a few rolls on the tapestry top, so I'm not going to show you that. I want to show you when, you know, I've made a bit more of an improvement on the pattern, because otherwise it's just going to kind of look the same. I've done maybe eight rolls on it, but it's still in the same pattern section, so, you know, you might not tell the difference. 
So the last one is Usman's jumper. Now, I only have the sleeves to do on this. This is the flats by Tin Can Knits. Now, I don't know where I've put the pattern for it, but I remember how to do the sleeves now, so I don't really need it anyway. So if you look online, Tin Can Knits, it's probably one of the first patterns that will come up. It's so... I won't say overmade, but it's so popular. Like This is one of the tops that everyone goes to when they start knitting tops. So it's done in, I think it's, I can't remember if it's 100% acrylic or like 80-20 with acrylic wool. What's the ball band? <laughs> but once again, it's yarn that Jan gave me. It's a big ball. So really, I've got enough to make two jumpers out of this one. And Jamal said that he wants one. And she did give me two of these, but I don't even think I'll break into the next one. For Jamal's jumper. So then that is everything. I've not been shopping, so no more wool. But I'm thinking maybe around Christmas I'll go up because Jan went last week and she said that there wasn't much there. So I want to give it a little bit of time first for them to get new stock in. So then I can go up and see what they've got. Uh, so yeah, no shopping. But we are having, on our website, we're having a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, ish up to 75% off sale so most of our products are on sale um most of them are 50% or more the sale price so yeah have a check it out have a check it out check it out <laughs> have a look <laughs> do whatever <laughs> it's one of them days today honestly like yeah I don't trust myself today but what I was going to say is even if you're in the US, still have a look because what you're saving on the sale, you could be saving like £40 on an item and the postage to the US is only £16, so you're more than saving postage costs. Like Our items are so, so unbelievable at the minute and we don't know if we're going to have a sale this great again. We really don't. So just go and have a look. Give it a go. Having a look also gets our analytics up, it gets our ratings up, so just go for it. Check us out. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Buy things. <laughs> Only if you want to though. But seriously, the sales are amazing. Um, and I think that is it. Sign up to the blog while you're on there because you'll get updated with all other things. And, you know, Unless I decide to make tutorial videos, which I really don't have the time to at the minute, I do want to. But if I don't do that, then these three patterns that I'm making, you're only ever going to be able to find on the blog. Now, they're only going to be small patterns like this, but, you know, it's good to have just in case you want it. And it's free. You know, who can argue with free? Who can argue with 50% off? Who can argue with 75% off? Like, you know, go for it. Right, and that's it, because I'm not an advertisement. I'm kind of advertising right now, aren't I? But, you know, we've got to get the business up and running somehow. We need to get more people there somehow. And once we've become a little bit more successful, then we can kind of, you know, stop mentioning it as much. But yeah, sign yourself up while you're there. Uh, and that is it, I'm out of breath. I feel like I'm going to start coughing, I've been coughing the last couple of days. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the post office, post off an order, get home, put the heating on, make a nice brew because I'm so cold. At least it's not frosty today. The last couple of days have been so frosty and on the way up to school and back from school, it's steep hill, you know, it's, you know, we live in Cheatham Hill, it's, you know, hill for a reason. And when it's so frosty, you feel like you're going to slide down that hill. When it's so frosty, you feel like, you know, you're trying to run up the hill just to walk a couple of steps because <laughs> you don't want to hit the ice. It can be dangerous if you hit that ice. I want to get some snow boots. <laughs> just like clunk into the ice. Yeah. When it starts snowing things and getting really, really ice there, it's going to be bad. I'm not going to like that journey at all. 
This is life. This is life, yeah. It's life. Right, I'm gonna go. I said that before. I'm really gonna go. I woke up in a funny mood today. <laughs> I feel a bit giddy. I'm sat here in the house on my own, speaking to me, speaking to myself through the viewfinder, and I'm just a bit giddy. I'm going to buy myself some coke and see how giddy I get then. Sat on my own in the living room. The cat's looking at me like, oh my gosh, will you shut up? Right, where's my remote? Here we are. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm really going to go. <laughs> Happy crafting, everyone. Hope you enjoy. Excuse my silliness. Some days I get like this, but you know what? It keeps me happy. I hope I've made you smile. You know, I've made myself smile anyway, so I'll see you later.